Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are here at SeaWorld Orlando. You guys really enjoy. You guys really seem to enjoy the last testing video that we did from Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. So we are here at SeaWorld today doing the exact same thing for you guys. We're gonna go through the park, try out all the attractions that have test seats with the different restraints on them that are outside the attraction, show them how I fit and see, and so you guys, pardon me, so that you guys can see exactly how you guys would fit in these test seats if you were here in the park as well during your Orlando vacation. At the time of me making this video, I am 289 pounds, down a little bit from my last Bush Gardens video. My weight loss journey has been coming along very, very well, so I'm super proud of that. So yeah, I am 289 pounds, approximately five foot five inches. You can get a feel for exactly what my body dimensions are over here, exactly what my gut is. For my shirt and you see I have a little bit of a gut over here. So we're gonna go hit all the major attractions and we're going to try the test seats out to show how I fit and so that you guys can see exactly how you guys might fit. Let's head on through the park and start with Manta, it's right here. All right, so we are here at our first major roller coaster at SeaWorld Orlando. This is Manta. We have a test seat over here. If you guys saw the Bush Gardens test seat video, you'll see that this test seat looks very similar to what they have going on at Falcon Fury. Very similar test seat, how it's got a, uh, a, a chest plate over here with the handlebars out to the side. Getting a closer look at the test seat over here, you'll see these different holes on the side. Your test seat will actually have locks underneath on the side over here and these locks need to go into the holes over here and this is how you gauge. So, in order to fit on Manta, you need to get at least one hole in order to lock. And if you fit in the test seat, you close the lever and it locks and it doesn't move, then you're golden. If it does move, not so much, but you can use this lever over here to gauge how you're gonna fit. So I'm gonna sit down, Let's see how I fit. My pants are falling. Ow! Okay, it took a little figuring out. Thankfully, when you're on the attraction itself, you're not having to mess with a little lever. This is just to get it to lock. But when you pull it down, you'll feel, you'll feel it lock in place. If you can lift up on your lap bar or on your shoulder harness and it doesn't move, then you should be golden. They'll let you know on the station if you need to push down just a little bit more. But as of right now, fitting like this, I'm perfectly fine for this attraction. Now, one thing to also know, when you do pull the lap bar down, it does also engage some leg restraints as well. The wing flaps are not here on the test seat, but they will be on the ride to keep your legs in place while you're on the ride. That way you're not just dangling them like this. So, Manta, SeaWorld Orlando. This is the test seat, this is how I fit. Hopefully you guys know more or less how you guys will fit as well. All right guys, so we are here in front of Journey to Atlantis, the water coaster that is here at SeaWorld Orlando. Now this coaster and this water ride is very weird because it has a standard lap bar that you use. It's a, it's a six-seater boat, I believe. Never mind, it's an eight-seater boat, two, 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 and two. And it's just a standard lap bar. There is no test seat for this attraction. I will let you guys know, when I was at my heaviest at 365 pounds, I came here with with um, an ex of mine and I was able to ride this attraction. Granted, depending on how thick your thighs are, it might be a little bit of a tight squeeze to, to fit your thighs in between the lap bars, but you are able to ride it. And I was able to fit on it when I was 365 pounds. So just picture me just a little bit, a little bit wider, a little bit more chunky, bigger thighs, you know? So you should not have an issue with this ride. However, it, it, does, it does come down to how comfortable you are when you get into the test seat or into the seat and how squished your legs are going to be with that uh, lap bar. Alright guys, 
so we are at the test seat for Kraken, SeaWorld Orlando's B&M Flawless Roller Coaster. This is a roller coaster very similar to what you would see at Universal Studios in the Incredible Hulk. You would also find a coaster like this over at Busch Gardens for Kumba. Very, very similar, except this is floorless. Now, I have been in this test seat before. I know that I do fit in it, but the test seats for the roller coasters over at um, Busch Gardens are a little bit different for some reason, and I'm not able to fit in those. But I am going to show you guys exactly how I fit in this test seat. You do only need to get these two seat belts to click into the, the harness. So, let's see. I needed a little bit of friendship to fit on this ride. Coda needed to push down on the harness a little bit to get me to click, but I could click it myself. So it's as easy as that, guys. If you get these things to click, then you're golden to ride this attraction. Nothing much more to it. Okay, so we are here in front of uh, Mako, SeaWorld Orlando's hyper coaster. So it stands at a little over 200 feet tall. Um, there was a test seat here the last time we were here, but uh, there is no test seat now for some reason. And we don't know exactly where the test seat is located. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna put a picture up of the test seat here and um, you can see it is a standard hyper coaster test seat with a with a lap bar um, i sat in it last time so the ride attendant said i needed three clicks when i sat down in the test seat i only got one so i'm probably like one and a half maybe two right now so you'll feel it when you sit down you'll pull it down you'll feel click 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 and there's also a light as well so when you get the three clicks and you get a green light then you should be golden um, hopefully we can come back to sea world a little later and the test seat will be back out um, and we'll be sure to update you guys on that. But uh, yeah, that's very unfortunate that there's no Tessie here right now, so I wish I could show you guys. And this is another view of the seating system. You can see how the lap bars kind of sit. We are here in front of Infinity Falls, SeaWorld's newest water ride. It's a raft ride. It features, so far, the world's tallest raft ride drop. So, with this particular attraction, it uses a standard seatbelt system. Now, I spoke to the ride attendant. They do not have a test seat for this ride. I spoke to the ride attendant, and the seatbelts on this attraction are made for two people. So, you have two people sitting down, and the seatbelt is supposed to stretch across from one person to the other, so fit two people. In the event that you sit down and one seatbelt doesn't stretch across two people, you are able to sit by yourself so that way the seatbelt can fit across you. So, if you are planning on riding this stretch and you are larger, you should not have an issue getting on this ride. You may not be able to have a battle buddy sitting next to you, but you will be able to fit on this attraction with the seatbelt being large enough to fit two people. All right, guys, so our last little stop over here is right over here by the Bayside Stadium where SeaWorld Orlando is in the process of building their newest roller coaster. I made a video on what we think the new roller coaster is going to be. I'll have a link to that up here in the corner and down in the description below so you guys can check that out. Um, yeah, they are building a new roller coaster over here. We're not sure exactly what kind of roller coaster it is. It's either going to be a dive coaster or a multi-launch roller coaster. Um, as soon as we get more information on this roller coaster and we find out more or less what the seat restraints are going to be and when this attraction opens, I'm going to have entire videos dedicated to this roller coaster itself so that way I can keep you guys informed on all of this. So yeah, uh, definitely keep an eye on the channel and uh, keep an eye out for that whenever this roller coaster opens and when we get more news and information. Alright guys, well that is going to about wrap it up from us here at SeaWorld Orlando. We hit all the major attractions here inside the park and I gave you some information on how the test seats work and what the seat belts are like. All the information you might need to figure out whether or not you are going to be able to fit on these attractions when you come down to Orlando for your family vacation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more 
more videos like this in the future. If you guys want to see other parks, then be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. We might just go to that theme park and cover the test seats for that for that park or attraction that you leave down in the comment section below. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Uh, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell, get notified every time we do a video like this in the future. Stay up to date with all the videos that we post on this channel. We are quickly approaching 5,000 subscribers, guys. I am super duper excited. Thank you so much for getting us to this milestone. We're almost there. So with that, we are off and we will see you guys in the next one.